Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So California has been infringing on people's Second Amendment rights now for far too long with virtually no oversight and no accountability other than people like you and I who speak out about these things and organizations that are willing to step up and fight back against these unconstitutional laws in court. Well, California will still pass whatever they want. The legislature does not care. They'll pass it even if it's unconstitutional and the governor will sign it. Once he signs it, they know that it's going to be challenged. But guess what? It's going to be held up in court for the next five or ten years. And then at the end of it all, the court's on their side anyway. So they end up winning most of the time as well. Well, finally, we have Congress, the United States Congress, who is doing something about it. So I want to talk to you guys about that today. Let's get to it. Now, real quick before we get started, a great way to support this channel is to, one, subscribe. It's free. It only takes a second, but it really does help us out quite a bit. And the second is to check out the main sponsor of this channel, especially if you're somebody who carries to defend yourself, your loved ones, and others. Don't go it alone. If you're somebody who carries to defend yourself, you need a lawyer in your back pocket. And that's what you get with Attorneys on Retainer. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So in the state of California, you have virtually unlimited gun control. And what I mean by that is there are over 100 laws on the books as it stands right now. But every single year, the legislature passes more and more. They come up with something, a bunch of different bills every year. They get passed and then they get signed almost instantly by the governor. And so it's this never ending stream in that state and you never know what to expect. And it's almost impossible to navigate so much so that there's even a book out there just to help people understand what the legislature is coming up with every year. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, there's one law in California that upsets people more than some others. And that is the California roster. So what is a roster? Well, in my opinion, the roster is an unconstitutional list of government approved handguns that are available to the people of that state and several other states as well. But in order to get on that list, they have to have things like magazine disconnects, loaded chamber indicators, uh, micro stamping, which isn't even a viable option these days. The problem is, is that not all models have these uh, features, right? And so without those features, they can't get on the roster. That means that people in California have been stuck at models that are almost 30 years old for a significant amount of time. Now, thanks to a recent injunction, there's been more things that have been added, but it's still not everything. People in California shouldn't have to deal with the roster. Now, you guys might not remember, but I did a video back in August talking about a bill that was introduced by California House Representative Daryl Issa. He introduced a bill to try and overturn these rosters as well. But now we have a new bill introduced in the Senate. And this was introduced by Senator Jim Reich of Idaho. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is from Senator Reich's website. And it was published on September 25th, 2024. And it says, Washington, U.S. Senator Jim Reich, Republican Idaho, today introduced the Modern Firearm Safety Act, which would prohibit states from enforcing handgun rosters. So what you see right here is a statement from Senator Reich. And we can see in this quote, it says, unconstitutional handgun rosters create unnecessary burdensome requirements for firearm manufacturers while undermining the Second Amendment. The Modern Firearm Safety Act stops Democrats arbitrary handgun catalogs and protects law-abiding gun owners' right to bear arms. So as you can see, this is a bill that's intended to stop rosters nationwide. And while you don't have a roster in your state right now, that doesn't mean that it couldn't be something that happens in the future. What happens in California tends to spread to other states, as you can see by the number of states that now have rosters in them. And so again, this would be nice. This is a great way to get the conversation started because the chances of this actually passing I, you got to, you just got to admit it are pretty much zero. You know, even if it passed in the house and you got Daryl Ice's bill, if that passed in the house, the chances of it passing in the Senate are very slim, just like Reich's bill is going to be slim in the Senate as well. And then even if it does, there's a pretty much zero chance that it's going to be signed by the executive. And so we have almost no chance of this actually happening, but it's still a good thing. More bills like this need to be introduced. Now, if the makeup of Congress changes and the executive changes, something like this could absolutely go through. And so that's why it's so important what we have coming up in November, just it, something needs to happen. But if the makeup of Congress actually does change, 
And this bill gets reintroduced next year and it has a better chance if it's already been introduced once, then we could actually see something like this happen and see rosters be gone across the country without all of the courts and the years and the decades uh, of, of waiting just to have something like this upheld by, you know, let's say the Ninth Circuit anyway, who will find a way to side with the state of California. Having it done on a level like this would be much better and make sure that no other states see something like this as well. So even though it has a 0% chance of passing, I think that it's still a great thing to see, to see our representatives actually stand up for us. So I wanted to let you know about that. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.